Hi guys, today I'm going to be taking a Cocoa Puff to the vet. It's just going to be a general checkup and we're also going to address his teeth as from what I can tell they look very overgrown and I'm just going to try to take you guys with us and get some clips at the vet and yeah, let's get going. See ya. Yeah. So like... So I would, I mean, if we're going to trim them, I just would nip off these sections here and, and here. I can't cut them. I'm not going to get them to cut short, but I'm thinking that lifelong issue, you're, pr you're probably going to be better off having them ex extracted. His, his, so his mandible is longer. I mean, you see how his, the lower incisors are way out in front of his upper ones. Mm -hmm. So he's probably had a lifelong problem with this and it's always going to be that way. I know he didn't come from the best home, so he didn't have like Probably didn't have any toys to chew on or anything. Yeah, well, he was probably, I mean, this is probably a genetic thing. Probably. But he's got a sore down in his mouth oh, from so those upper ones pushing down. Can you see Yeah, that? yeah. So I'm going to send him on an antibiotic as well. Okay. Just squirt that in his mouth twice a day for a week. We'll try and get that cleared up. Like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, he's... The nice thing about the gas is what they breathe in, they breathe back out. And so All right, guys, we just got back from the vet. Basically, Coco Puff has what's called a malocclusion. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Basically, it's a genetic disorder where the incisors don't line up properly and basically they can't grind down their incisors so they just get overgrown and so we ended up getting his teeth trimmed and the vet also recognized that there was a sore inside his mouth so they gave me some antibiotics for the next week to just give to him and hopefully that sore will heal and yeah i wasn't able to see my normal vet but I really wanted to get Coco Puff's teeth at least trimmed so he was no longer in pain. Basically, the only solution that they really gave me for malocclusion is to have surgery where you remove the incisors. The only other option is to have regular teeth grinding. So I'm going to do some more research and determine which avenue I'm going to go and which one would be better for Coco Puff. And I'll let you guys know what my decision is. I think Coco Puff is much happier now as he was waking up from the sleep gas because they did use sleep gas for when they were grinding his teeth. He started licking his like lips and feeling his teeth and I could just tell that he was liking that his teeth were no longer poking him. So I'm going to go ahead and take him inside and yeah, let's go take him in. Hi guys, so it's about five weeks later and today I actually took Coco Buff to the vet again and we had to go ahead and get his teeth trimmed for a second time. And so I have made my final decision and I'm gonna go ahead and get them surgically removed. So they're going to remove the incisors all the way down to the root. And the reason why I decided to go ahead and get these surgically removed is I do not want to have to take him to the vet every four to five weeks. It's just very stressful for him. And he's also a very young rabbit, so having to do this for the next 10 years is not really ideal. And I just don't want to put him through that much stress, so we're going to go ahead and do the surgery. And if you want to see his surgery and kind of his recovery process, I plan on making a vlog about that. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, make sure you leave it a like. And I'll see you guys next time. And remember, live life to the fullest!